Hi, I'm Mike of Boxing Strike TV. Today I'm at uh, Bart's gym, um, and we're just gonna—I mean—he's gonna show you around, tell you what it's all about. I just did a kettlebell workout, and I almost died. It was the greatest workout of my life. Okay? We, we had the defibrillator on standby. <laughs> I promised him I wouldn't kill him the first day. We always say that to about week number two. So I, I'm scared now. <laughs> but definitely, if you want to get in shape, this is the gym. Here you go. Show him around. How you doing, man? We're just uh, what we're doing right now is we're just getting back to some old school. Uh, fundamentals, man. Just grinding it out in a dungeon. Uh, this is the exact same thing that I had with uh, Primal Launch Strength Training uh, down in Houston, Texas, when we first got started. And now this is the uh, this is the Primal Launch Strength Training Northwest Temple of Pain right here. Uh, also works for Survival Defense System Spokane. You can check out either one of those Facebook pages, by the way. You got uh, Primal Launch Strength Training and Survival Defense System Spokane. Primal Launch Strength Training is where we're getting in. We're doing the kettlebells, the conditioning work, some of the iron work just to get the body strong. And Survival Defense Systems is basically basically our branch where we're doing self-defense classes, we're teaching basic combatives, uh, just basically making you harder to kill is the whole premise, you know, giving you a measure of uncertainty in an increasingly uncertain world. Uh, so we uh, basically show guys how to get themselves strong and then we uh, teach them how to use the strength skills to dismantle other people. So uh, anyway, we're starting pretty much like we did in Houston. Uh, we just happen to have the benefit of a very, very large garage space starting out this has been a work in progress for me pretty much since i got here to spokane in 2013. i had uh you know when i moved up from houston i had like two sets of kettlebells uh i had the squat cage a couple of horse stall mats and it's just been piecing things together a little bit at a time but the layout is pretty much like we had with the original commerce street temple of pain down in houston we got this whole side matted out for uh for your strength and conditioning work we got uh we got sledgehammers uh to work on the tires this is uh this is our current favorite this is a 20 pound rogue sledge that i picked up from uh from some crossfit guys that were going out of business here local but we got uh we got the 20 pound sledge we got a 25 pound mace bell regular 12 pound sledge we got a power tech multi gym i'm not really big on machines as a general rule and of course we do have the squat cage over here to do free weight work with um but some of the guys like myself who are a little bit older got some injuries to deal with sometimes having the hinge on a machine is a pretty good thing to have and power tech uh, machines are really really well thought out so not meaning to shill for them or give them a plug but they're great machines so we have a power tech multi gym over here of course uh we got old school here we got the squat cage we got the landmine some mismatched sets of dumbbells <laughs> so you know the real old school it's like oh yeah we picked one out of the yards oh now we got a pair of 45s well not exactly but you know but uh they weigh the same uh, we got a cable machine. Uh, the tire over here is basically for stick and knife drills, which we also work with some of the Filipino martial arts, Kali, Escrima, Paquita, Tertia. Uh, you know, we work with the sticks, the knives. And if you want to bump it up to tactical firearms, that's another video, but we got you covered on that front too. But the tire here is basically for stick drills, for elbows, for conditioning, that kind of stuff. We got Bob here. Bob's wearing a towel because he was in here sweating with the rest of us. Uh, <laughs> But Bob is mostly for target drills, just to establish that muscle memory, just, you know, eye rakes, ears, vagus nerve, collarbone, trach, you know, just to establish that without taking your eyes off of this guy. Uh, speed bag, all the essentials uh, over on this side. We're in the process of clearing the rest of this space out. Of course, we've got the two, uh, got the two big tie bags hanging uh, to work power on. And of course, uh, we got uh, we got the Tony Blower High Gear Crash Suits. I'm a certified instructor, uh, ballistic micro fights uh, certified in Spear System, uh, PDR certified under Coach Tony Blower. Who, if you're familiar with Coach Blower, he's basically weaponized the startle flinch reflex. It'll change your whole perspective on combatives. But uh, we've got the high gear suits here, and we get together. We do strength and conditioning work, and generally, at least one or two days a week, we do some combatives work, whether that's mitt drills for boxing, uh, pad drills for uh, tie boxing, MMA. Uh, you know, if you if you want to put the geese on a roll, you know, the soft mats are on this side So we got that together for you and then we'll work scenario drills We put on the high gear crash suits and work scenario drills So we're just taking a different approach man My whole vision for this place is to have a, a spot where guys can come in that want to take it a little bit further uh, Then you're gonna be able to take it at a regular commercial gym or even some of the even some of the MMA gyms around here It's basically a spot where you can come in and you can put not just your strength to the test, but your approach to the test. We work the scenarios. We don't deal in theory here. We deal in practice. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I think this is going to work versus that. All right, let's put the crash suits on. Let's run it. Um, I think this is going to work with that. I think this particular conditioning element is going to work. Okay, well, let's run it. We got kettlebells. We got ropes. We got sledges. We got iron. Uh, and we got blood, sweat, and tears in here. So that's the approach.
but I really, uh, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that Mike made it out. Uh, you know, we got him out here, and I think we made a believer out of him. Absolutely. In the first 47 minutes, I uh -huh. think we, <laughs> we made a believer out of him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, if you uh, you want to come out here, you want to take it a little bit further, get with me or Mike, uh, and check out uh, check out the Facebook pages, Survival Defense This is Spokane and Primal Strength Training. And uh, let's get in here, get it on, man. Stay strong, always.